Good morning, Avon Elementary Dolphins. Today is a marvelous Monday, August 21st, 2023. My name is Mrs. Culverhouse. And my name is Mrs. Cornell, and this is AES News. What's for lunch today? We have a chicken sandwich or a PB&J boat. Mm. Mm. Delicious choices, boys and girls. Every mistake you make, you every mistake you make is progress. So every time you make a mistake, you're learning something new so that you can do it better the next time. That's how we always improve and do our best every day. That's right. Absolutely. All right. Um, and that goes along with our school pledge. Improve right. each day. Improve. Letter I and swim. That's right. That's right. All right. Happy, happy belated birthday to the following students who celebrated a birthday over the weekend. Josue Eugenio, Aiden Duggar. Yasmin Lopez and Jaslyn Williams. Whoop, whoop. We hope your day was awesome. Okay, and we have some birthdays for today. Ashley Avila, uh, Eliza Coronado, <laughs> Gabriel Martinez, and Jorge Fragoso Sija. We hope your day was awesome as well, or is awesome, because that's today that right? is today that is today yes Perfect. happy birthday so here's what's happening around campus there we have news crew applications going up if you are in fourth and fifth grade and you are in interested in being a part of this team to be able to put on the news crew not necessarily to be on the camera like we are but there's behind the scenes things that we need students to help um, get things ready for this to happen in the front so if you are interested in that it will be up on the AES website your teachers can help you with that and it will be up through Friday afternoon so today is Monday so the whole week it will be up so that will be coming that is out now but what's coming soon is safety patrol Yes. So that's another opportunity to be a student leader. So if you would be interested in being the safety patrol and helping on campus in the mornings and in the afternoons, we will have that information coming soon. Yes. And as far as news crew goes, boys and girls, you need to have good behavior, good attendance, work well with others, and be interested in live streaming. Um, so we have the news anchor positions that those um, people who are the news anchors, like Miss Cornell and Miss Culverhouse, read from a script, enjoy being in front of the camera, and work well with their co anchor. We also have data entry and design, who organize scripts and design slides that you see on your TV. They insert data, lunch choices, and information for teachers, and they might fill in for an anchor if one of the anchors are absent. And then finally, we have those that are behind the scenes, behind the camera who um, work on the filming of the show. They start and stop the recording software, they make sure all equipment is running correctly, and they run the webcam. So if, the, if any of those things sound like something you're interested in and you are in fourth or fifth grade, make sure you apply. Um, find that on the Avon Elementary website. Okay, and then again, more information on Safety Patrol will be coming in, in the next couple days. Okay, so today is Math PLCs. Math PLCs will be held in Miss Arrington's room. And also this afternoon, we have our action team meetings. All right. And, um, oh, and fourth and fifth grade science yes. PLCs. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, so now we're going to review our bus expectations. All right, so boys and girls, as you know, we have school-wide expectations in our common areas, and that includes on our school buses. Um, so dolphins swim on the bus. Letter B stands for be on time. That, that means in the morning at your bus stop, be on time. So when the bus arrives, you're ready to load. That also means in the afternoon, which you should be walking out with a teacher. Um, so we wanna make sure that we stay with our teacher in the line and we listen and follow directions so that we can be on time to load the buses in the afternoon. I do wanna also add to that, once we are loaded on the bus, we do not get back off the bus. Mm -hmm. We had a couple problems with that where students were wanting to get off and get a sip of water or something. We can't do that because once you have keyed in your number and logged in, we know that you're on the bus and safe and ready to go. So we can't get back off the bus. 
that's right. The next is the U for use inside voice. When you are on the bus, you can talk to the person next to you, but you can't holler and talk to the people in other rows. You can talk to the person next to you, but that is it. The bus driver needs to be able to hear all of the safety and all of the cars and things that are happening around the, for the bus driver for safety. So you can only talk in your whisper voice next to the, to the person next to you. Right, and boys and girls, you know that bus drivers have quiet zones where you, there is absolutely no talking. So if you ride a bus, you're aware of that. So when you're in the quiet zone, you need to be absolutely silent and then you can talk quietly. Um, letter S is safety first. So that encompasses a lot of things. So let's talk about what it means to be safe on the school bus. Um, you should be seated at all times. You should not be out in the aisles, no legs and feet out in the aisles, no bodies out in the aisles. Um, our hands and feet and objects are to ourselves at all times. And this is really important, and this is something I had to talk to a lot of boys and girls about last year. Wearing the seatbelt on the bus is required. It's not an option. So when Miss Colerhouse gets on a school bus and I see seatbelts are still over the backs of seats, that's not okay. We're going to take the time to all stop and buckle. Um, so as soon as you get on the bus and you get in your assigned seat, you need to buckle your seatbelt because that is required for safety. Okay, so now it is time to, for our school pledge. As an important member of the Avon Elementary family, I will start each day with a positive attitude, work with others, improve each day, and make every day count. I will swim. All right, it is now time to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. Have a marvelous Monday.